Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to talk about a stock called J J J U M I A. J M I A is the ticker symbol, and I want to do the little video here of a description of what they do and how they do it, and then I'm going to follow it up with a chart analysis, technical analysis. So I'm going to go ahead and run this right now. It might take eight or nine minutes, so please enjoy. If you have patience, wait for me at the end of the video, and then I'm going to go ahead and talk about the chart. I love stocks, and good morning. The early bird always gets his worm. Welcome to Africa. Welcome to Jumia. Our Jumia journey started in 2012 with a belief in the potential of Africa and a deep conviction that technology is a major agent of change for the continent. In a world that has turned digital, we believe that now is the time for Africa. We assembled a team of entrepreneurs who were all brilliant, resilient, ambitious and committed. We have embarked on a great mission, improving the quality of everyday life in Africa by leveraging the power of technology and data. Today, Jumia is a platform where our consumers can discover, search and buy millions of products from thousands of sellers and compare price and quality. We provide our sellers business opportunities and value-added services. Jumia has become the leading pan-African e-commerce platform and a true household brand. We operate our platform with our marketplace, our logistics service, and Jumia Pay, our payment service. The opportunity is really huge in Africa. We have a population of 1.2 billion people, and that population is young and growing fast. Imagine in Nigeria alone, there are almost 200 million people, and the UN estimates that Nigeria will be the third largest country in the world by population. Our continent is also very connected thanks to the very fast adoption of mobile internet. There are over 450 million internet users today and that number continues to grow very fast. The opportunity for online commerce has huge potential in Africa. Currently, the spend of consumers and businesses is 4 trillion US dollars and the vast majority of that spend is happening offline, often in open markets which is inefficient and full of friction. We believe that online commerce is extremely relevant for both the consumers and the businesses on the continent. Let's take a closer look at the challenges that consumers face in the offline world and how Jumia is helping them. Shopping in Africa is notoriously difficult. There are very few stores to shop from as retail is underdeveloped. Shopping means spending a lot of time in traffic, having access to limited store options and product choice, often high prices because of the inefficiencies of distribution. With Jumia, we want to help consumers save time and save money. They can access millions of products from thousands of sellers. They can compare products and sellers on price and quality. Our consumers now have transparent pricing, but also the choice of delivery to their doorstep or a pickup station in order to avoid spending time in traffic. We reach out to our consumers in a very personal way and connect with them. We speak a language that they understand and our campaigns resonate with them. Je pas besoin d'aller faire les boutiques. Donc ça vient jusqu'à chez moi. En trois clics et tu as ce que tu veux. C'est magnifique. <laughs> Avant du mien, c'était très compliqué, vraiment compliqué parce que là, il fallait faire le tour des boutiques, de mettre des renseignements par-ci, par-là, prendre le taxi, aller de magasin en magasin et tout ça, c'était vraiment compliqué. Bon, depuis que j'ai connu du mien, je suis assis dans mon canapé là et en quelques clics, rapidement, je commande et en quelques jours, j'ai mon collier. 
because many sellers offer their products on our marketplace, consumers often enjoy better prices on Jumia than offline. We serve consumers on many of their day-to-day -day needs from fashion to phone to grocery, home, toys, beauty and many more. In addition, we also offer online services such as airtime recharge or restaurant delivery. Consumers love our restaurant delivery service, which we offer in most major cities of Africa. They can choose from the best local restaurants and chains, and they can be delivered as fast as 30 minutes thanks to our unique local market knowledge and logistics network. We reach everyone. We serve consumers in the big cities and even in the rural areas, where 25% of our packages were shipped last year. For our sellers, Jumia represents a platform and a partner for growth. For sellers, the distribution of goods and services in Africa is one of the biggest challenges they face. Sellers and brands have adopted Jumia because they can access millions of consumers directly, leverage our data and technology platform in order to generate insight for their business, build their brands amongst our countries, and even use Jumia to access financial services. We work with thousands of local sellers, from local workshops to traders to the largest local and international consumer brands. We help them make more business, grow, hire more team members, and eventually, contribute to the growth of their country. We operate warehouses and physical locations. In those locations, sellers can ship their packages as well as access value-added services to help them fulfill their online transactions. To deliver consumers, we use a wide range of local partners. We provide them with a unique technology and data platform, constant operational support and advice, in order to help them deliver the best experience to the consumers and the sellers. En étant prestataire de Jumia, donc partenaire, et pour moi vraiment je fais partie de l'aventure Jumia. Donc pour moi plus les clients sont satisfaits, et je pense que plus Jumia va se développer au mieux. Et donc qui se développe dit plus de volume, plus de colis. Currently, we have chosen to exclusively let our sellers use our logistic platform, but we'll open it up to third parties in the future, which will provide even more business to our local partners and help them grow and optimize their business. We contribute to building a better logistics in Africa through our network of delivery partners. When we started our company, we chose to offer consumers to pay cash on delivery in order to help them become familiar with our service and our brand. As our service became more popular and our brand very well known and trusted, we launched our wallet, Jumia Pay, because we want to offer more convenience to sellers and consumers and help them access more financial services. The adoption of Jumia Pay has been exceptional so far, with over 50% of all transactions in Nigeria and Egypt being processed on Jumia Pay. We want to provide consumers with more opportunities to use their wallet by accessing more digital services as well as financial services. We also want our sellers to benefit from Jumia Pay, to make the payment process more efficient and leverage our data to give them access to financial services to help them grow their business. Our values drive our actions every day. We have a unique culture. We are a group of very humble people who are working hard to create positive impact. Those are not just wishful words, those are truly embedded in our culture. This is a huge asset for our company because we are all united to deliver our mission. Ultimately, we can only build Jumia because we have the best people all committed to our mission. We have achieved great results so far, yet we think the opportunity is even bigger. We are just at the beginning of a long and great journey. We are very proud of Jumia today, and we are still very ambitious about our future. We want to help more consumers save time and save money, access financial services. We want to help more sellers do business, help more logistic partners grow and benefit from this opportunity. 
We want the world to witness the development of the African continent and be a part of it. Well, there was a short introduction of Jamelia. Also, the price closed at 20. Let me see. Let me pull up the chart right now, and we'll kind of do a little technical analysis of it. Beautiful chart. It's really had a great run. I called the bottom down here in the room, right around $13. We did hit my low support of $11.94, and we consolidated in this area for a couple of days, and I was just shouting to the room. I said, this is going to go to 20 it's going to go to 20. I had a target red line resistance of a previous high up here at 1974. And then we had that nice little breakout. We did have a good little knife on it Monday, uh, Friday, and it did pull back to a support level that I called out. Well, I didn't, I called, called the support level in the room at 2278, and it fell back to a previous high that I had at 2255. And um, I'm going to go ahead and as I pull up the alert, Jamia, J-M-I-A, I caught a support level yesterday at 22.25, and that was at right into close after the market closed. I said this stock could pull back to this support level. As you can see on the chart here, we did pull back to that support level the next day right at about 9.46, and I called it out in the room. I said this could be a nice little double bottom play. It pulled back a little bit more for an entry level. I saw the reversal coming, and she went back to previous highs, and that's Jamia. Now I'll pull up the chart and get a better look at it. Did pull back to my 2278, 2225 support level right down here exactly. And when she bounced back up, she found resistance up here. I'm going to kind of put that resistance level right here at 2489. And then we've got another one right here at 2513. Let me go ahead and chalk that in. And then we've we've got this resistance high up right around here, up right around 2547 with a long to break at 2572. Now my next prediction on this, we'll look at the yearly. We did have a golden cross and it did break up here on the 20 day. So we've had a pretty nice little uh, resistance breakout. Now, I keep a good eye on it at right around this $20 level. That's going to be your low support right at $19.74. If you wanted to get into the trade, I think it can pull back to this, this channel right in here for a solid buy. Now, this is a momentum play with COVID right now. They are uh, did have better. Uh, their earnings were better than before. They're, they're still at a loss, but the losses are improving. So I think we're into a good bottom play here for a long two to three year play, maybe kind of like an Amazon. That's what they're comparing this stock to Amazon. And you definitely know Africa has a big population and the, and the other countries that they're serving in. Let me see if I can find that. Financial filings, government. See, that's what I like about their website. You can find a lot of lot of information on here. A lot of stock information and stuff like that. But let's get back to the chart. I couldn't find what I was looking for. So we got that first support right here at around 1974. And that next one's going to be right here at 2048. I'm looking for places of consolidation. Places of resistance. So we have like a little channel right in here. This is the pivot point to that channel. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw one right in here. So we're going to color this in. And we're looking for a support level. Maybe a place where it could pull back. Right about in there. This is going to be your little pivot point spot right in here. And I'm going to turn that into a different color. so we can see it a little bit better. I'll make that red. And that's going to be, I think, a real strong entry right at 2038 with that first support right in here, right at 2217. Maybe we can get another double bottom on it. And I'm going to color this, I'm going to color this in with red. 
looking for places where I think we can have a play. So let's go ahead and bring this back up to the daily one minute. Got a double bottom, maybe a low support scenario at the top of this resistant support channel of 2171. But I want to see this number hold at 2225 for a strong buy. Then that next support is going to be right here. I'd say your third one is going to be right here, right around 2278. Then I'm going to find an equilibrium that I think a support level is right in here, and that's going to be at 2344. 23, 23, Let me see if I can find this again. Right about there. Yep. So I've got three support levels, and then a strong buy. First support, 2390. Next one at 2344. Then that third one here for a strong buy at 22.78 with a no-brainer no down here at 22.25. Now this will fluctuate, but I think we can break out to resistance. And if we do break out to 25.72, we'll take it to 30. But this is going to be a hard resistance to break. And then we've got another one right here that we've got to break. And I'm going to color that in red because I'll be looking at that for another hard resistance. So we got that first one at 24.89, 25.13, and then a hard resistance to break at 25.72 to keep the catalyst going. And I'm going to bring this up to the 10, 10 day, 30 minute. With a real, I mean, low scenario, anywhere around 20 bucks, you could retrace back up. So Jamia, I think we're on our way up to new higher highs. But we're going to start getting a little choppy on the way up right now. We're going to consolidate and we're going to build a channel. And what I mean by building a channel, we're going to find a diagonal path, kind of like what we see right here. You can see we had the higher lows. And I think what we're going to happen, we're going to pull back for a couple of days next week. And then after next week, we'll have a new breakout. Remember, it's a short trading week next week. Take that in consideration. Always remember that I love stocks. Hit this little Twitter bird over here. Subscribe to our I Love Stocks Twitter channel and also on the website we do have our stock link, stock twits. Please, the great community to be following trades in and please follow up with us in here. And always remember, we love stocks.